Well, hi, Peter. Howdy. Uh, How are you? Fine. How are you? <laughs> a little. I still need more coffee. I'm still yeah. waking up. It was a hard night yesterday. Um, just late. We we didn't go on till till, till midnight. And played for like an hour and forty minutes or so. And yeah. then drove. <laughs> you know, nothing so, unusual. Still like the touring life as much as you did like ten years ago. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's. Um, I feel pretty blessed to be able to still be doing it. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, first thing uh, that came to mind when I heard your album and read about it, uh, what's your favorite Dire Straits song or album? Um, Do you have I, I don't know about album, but um, I always liked Sultan's of Swing. Just his guitar playing on that is pretty amazing. And There's why? An because of because the guitar playing. Oh yeah, he's a great guitar player. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty catchy little song too. But um, not uh, you're not specifically uh, into uh, Mark Knopfler's work. Um, I don't really know a lot of it. I know the hits um, with the Dire Straits at least. Um, I don't know any of his solo work. I know he does a lot of soundtracks. I've probably been a fan of those without realizing that he was the guy doing them. Yeah. Um, I yeah. Courtney apparently is uh, is a big Dire Straits fan. I didn't know that until uh, an interview that we did yesterday, actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, because this is uh, one of the strangest things uh, of the album. I thought that uh, Mark Knopfler is playing uh, a love song. <clears throat> and Mike Campbell. Yeah. And how did they get uh, um, the record? It started out pretty much because Steve Martin didn't say yes to playing banjo on our record. You wanted Steve Martin? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just a, you know, crazy idea. We wanted some banjo, and for some reason, Steve Martin came up because that was used to be part of his his whole comedy routine. Um, but apparently, well, we don't know if Steve actually got the track ever, but um, uh, we never heard back. So uh -huh. apparently, Courtney asked. Um, Mike Campbell, who the best banjo player in the world was, and Mike Campbell said that he was. So Mike Campbell played banjo, and we had asked um, Mark Knopfler to play banjo too, but he didn't play banjo. And what does he play in the uh, um, He plays that the dobro that's on the cover of Brothers in Arms. Okay, yeah. So, so you, you saw the real uh, dobro? No, unfortunately <laughs> not. The, like all the studio stuff now is done in different parts of the world and gets emailed or um, or mail, just regular mail. Yeah. Okay, but uh, were you physically in the studio with the... No. No? Uh-uh. Okay. Which sucks, because I would have lo loved to have been there, but it just doesn't work that way anymore. So you sent the tracks uh, for, to where? Where did, where did they do uh, um, stuff? Mike did it in LA, and then Mark, wherever Mark lives, I'm not sure. Wherever he has a studio. Okay. Did he uh, did he hear the end result and did he have <clears throat> comment on it? Or? Um, I haven't heard if he has heard um, the end result, but apparently he's um, at least a a bit of a fan of the band, and that's why he agreed to do it. And um, the track hasn't changed a whole lot from what we sent him. 